the king of the north! I am the dragon's daughter. By what right does the wolf judge the lion? Hello, sweet summer children. Sandor Clegane the Hound is a polarizing character, but what do we know about him really? And real quick, I want to tell you my boy Nex from Game of Theories has just dropped a fireball about the Hound's visions on his channel. So when you're finished this video, check out his. You will not be disappointed. The link will be pinned in the comments. So we know the Hound has always been afraid of fire since his brother, the Mountain, pushed his face into the flames and burned him horribly on one side of his face. He fought Beric in a trial by combat and won, supposedly because the Red God needed him. Beric was brought back to life and they went their separate ways. They linked back up last season, but in season 7 episode 1, the Hound looks into the flames and has a vision. The Hound sees ice, a wall of ice, the wall where the wall meets the sea. There's a castle there. Mountain looks like an arrowhead. The dead are marching past. There's thousands of them. I think the vision is directly related to the vision Melisandre had in A Dance with Dragons, but I also think something else may be going on here. Sandor has been afraid of fire and it could very well be that when he was burned he heard something in the flames, or he saw something in the flames. Kind of like a very situation. Or it could be that he was afraid of fire because he was burned by his brother. But here we are with the Hound rolling around the Riverlands with a pack of fire worshippers. He has been humbled and although he's still funny, he's very remorseful for his life decisions. So now he's seeing visions in the flames as if he was a red priest, but let's talk about what he actually saw. So in Dance of Dragons, Melisandre has a POV chapter where she has a vision and it's similar to the Hound's vision, but a lot more in depth. Visions dance before her, gold and scarlet, flickering, forming and melting and dissolving into one another shapes strange and terrifying and seductive. She saw eyeless faces again staring out at her from sockets of weeping blood. Then the towers by the sea crumbling as the dark tide came sweeping over them. Rising from the depths, shadows in the shapes of skulls, skulls that turned to mist, bodies locked together in lust, writhing and rolling and clawing, through curtains of fire, great winged shadows wheeled against the hard blue sky. Melisandre conveys parts of this vision to John. John gets a raven about wildlings massing on the far side of the mountains. He thinks they're going to try and force the bridge of skulls. Melisandre says, could the skulls in her vision have signified the bridge? Somehow, Melisandre did not think so. If it comes, that attack will be no more than a diversion. I saw towers by the sea, submerged beneath the black bloody tide. That is where the heaviest blow will fall. Eastwatch? John asked. She debated it in her mind and answered with yes, my lord, but she is doubtful. She said the towers don't look the same as Eastwatch, but visions are like that sometimes. Both Melisandre and Sandor see these towers by the sea and the army of the dead. The skulls Melisandre sees are the Night King's army, but the skulls also bring about the Skull Bridge and the Gorge. The Skull Bridge is a bridge over the Gorge. The Gorge is a deep gorge that separates the wall from the Bay of Ice, and the wildlings descend into the Gorge to try to bypass the wall. Now, if you're wondering what a Gorge looks like, this is what a Gorge looks like. Now hold on because this is from the trailer and it looks like a gorge and if you look closely you can see what looks like skulls also she speaks of a dark tide sweeping over them now if you look at the opening scene with the white walkers it definitely looks like a dark tide or a dark storm it kind of resembles a black wave the White Walkers are going to try to bypass the wall using the Skull Bridge, and John and company will probably fight them there. In the show, they may change up the location of the Skull Bridge. Instead of the Skull Bridge being at West Watch, it could be at East Watch, just so show only watchers don't become confused. However, the Hound sees a mountain that's shaped like an arrowhead. There aren't many mountains east. 
East is the Haunted Forest, West is the Frost Fangs, an inhabitable mountain range. If you follow the milk water, you can range right through the mountains. So we have Melisandre in Dragonstone where Daenerys is. If she gets this vision, she could relate to Daenerys and Daenerys could arrive on Drogon and help with the fight. And that's why Melisandre sees the dragon wings wheeling across the sky. What do you think? I think everything ties together and the Night King is coming for the Skull Bridge to bypass the wall. I'm curious to know your opinion on this. As always, thanks for watching. Please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell Shame. and join the Sweet Summer family. Shame. Okay, my Sweet Summer children. Shame. Have a good day. Shame.